Next on the list here, we have some other news. Again, banging sneaker collaboration news courtesy of Hypebeast says release info for Pat and Nike's Pata and Nike Air Max's Noise Aqua collaboration, right? And obviously the other ones came out before the orangey sort of kind of color. Why is it orange? What do you call them? Are orange or what are they called? Monarch, right? The Monarch pair came out recently. Again, expertly done. Um, the application of the slightly dyed sole, the wavy mud guard, the swoosh on the mud guard, the sort of silvery mesh on the toe box, and all the other bits of mesh kind of harken back to the early 90s and stuff. The tracks were even they've designed for it. Look, it just looks incredible. Legitimately one of the best collaborations this year. It might be the best one, which is no surprise, again, considering Pat's kind of history um, in the sneaky game, considering the people that still run the, the, the store, so run the brand itself. They really care about sneakers. Their sneakers are the core. They're, they're like... They're my type of sneakerheads, the ones I grew up with on like Crooked Tongues Forum, where basically the name of the game wasn't always just to buy the most expensive shoe. The name of the game wasn't always to buy the most loudest colorway, like a what the dunk sort of type of vibe or a year the dog sort of thing. The name of the game was to kind of get a hold of vintage shoes, retro shoes, or maybe yourself kind of bring back a shoe that was basically out of love or people didn't really care for. And you basically stamped your mark on it and said, no, nah, this shoe is going to be the next thing. You bought it, you showed it off in your fit people got excited about it and all of a sudden you single-handedly on a tiny forum somewhere increased the value of it exponentially do you know what I mean too much so much to the point where people started talking to brands about bringing it back and suddenly the shoe comes back I can think of one failure of that I think it being the Air Max Lite with Nike you know that was probably one of the worst retros to ever grace the shelves of sneaker stores especially when you compare it to the vintage um um, ones people were getting from back in the day and they were kind of resoling and then Nike went out and retro the shoe and it was absolutely garbage the tooling on it was terrible um construction was horrible it just looked nothing like the actual vintage shoe you had so a lot of people then decided to back off you know um trying to hype up vintage shoes too much because they didn't want to be damaged and burnt with those four shoes it happened a little bit with the structure but they, i thought they were pretty decent but just in general it feels like recently Nike have finally decided to wake up because again the shape from of this shoe from the top down I don't like the lacing again I have a big pet peeve of people taking product shots and not getting the lacing correct but again we move but that aside the fact that there's no sort of like mass amount of stuffing in it and it just looks sleek it looks like it doesn't have that weird banana toe thing here in the front if you can tell here in the mud guard usually the actual retros and MX ones are always kind of terrible there and it just looks amazing it looks like something that you would pull out from one of those vintage nike adverts right or magazines or catalogs where you'd see somebody running in them or doing some kettlebell swings in them and they just look brilliant and then i also like the little slight addition of the plum sort of purple leather colorway at the back that they just left in there just to kind of give the heads a little heads up on what may be coming in the future um so far from what i've seen on instagram this mud guard is kind of similar to the monarch sort of one sort of like a new bucky tough suede sort of thing and then oddly enough this sort of center panel here paneling just behind the swoosh is like a tumble d leather sort of vibe so it just looks lush it looks absolutely it actually looks expensive that's the thing that i actually like about it is that it actually looks like it's a collaboration even though it's not like plastered with stuff all over it you could tell it's something a little bit different than what you'd maybe pick up from like a regular store so definitely pick these up these guys man it's just incredibly well done um so happy that they put another colorway out so i was going to be a bit bummed if it's just going to be the one monarch it's also good to see that they're not reselling for millions of bucks online because i guess no one famous has worn them yet that's just let's just be honest the moment a famous person like travis scott or asap rocky wears them the value will just kind of jump exponentially but the fact that they've just kind of been a bit of a sneaker heads type of shoe has really helped someone like myself who maybe didn't get them on release date to maybe buy them later on down the line on StockX when i kind of save up for them so I'm definitely looking forward to getting a pair and I can actually envision getting a pair. I'm not a fan of the chain, you know, wearing that sort of stuff is enough as hell. But again, for the kids, if you want to do that, do your thing. Because I was never the kid I even got the Snacky swoosh. I never had that too. I always thought that was weird when people got that. But, you know, people are different. I think the tracksuit is absolutely banging. I'd wear the fuck out of that tracksuit. Let's not, you know, mince any words. Get familiar on the back of the t-shirt. Like the merch line is just incredible. Did they do the same thing for the Monarch pair? I'm not too sure, but these look so good. Let's continue. Um, have a Dutch. Da, da, da. This marks the fifth time the Netherlands imprint has lent its touch to the re, to the ever classic sportswear silhouette, and it makes a perfect sense to considering that this staple amongst the Bears of Amsterdam community. Yeah, I've still, oh man, I sold my Paris in it for a couple of grand, I think. The ones are like red, 
with the plum or the I, I regret selling those so much man i wonder how much those are going for nowadays they're probably going for a lot of money let me actually check actually on my phone i don't want to disturb my flipping finger see how much money those patter um air max ones that i had before are going for air max one patter let's see here uh stock x let's see because i had a particular pair oh, okay the ones i want the monarchs are only going for fucking 170 you guys are sleeping on these man that's such a good shoe absolutely insane it's going for so cheap isn't it actually let's let's see the actual size because it's a size five let's be calm my size yeah only 240 that's absolutely insane 240 the shoe that i want right so okay let's go for the other one see if we've got the other patterns ones here that's the one. Oh my god the shoe that i had right that i sold back in the day for like a thousand pound is now going for seven grand the cherrywood power that i had is going for 7k that is legitimately one of the most wildest things i've seen um let's see if view bids or view sales let's see if you sales no sales available okay so no one sold a pair in a size 10 in a while um bid 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 okay let's see a nine oh my god someone sold a, a seven for 13 grand and a 9.5 for nine that's absolutely wild man yeah so if you type it in yourself and you see a para pata cherry wood um air max one then you'd know the one i had back in the day um, let's just double check and see if there's not another one I had there. Obviously, the green ones, fifth anniversary, they were pretty decent. They're only going for what, a grand, only a grand. But yeah, crazy, isn't it? Oh, these ones, I had these. Oh my God. I had these too. So I had these as well. They're called the Nike, these ones, right? I think I had two pairs of these as well. Two, two pairs. And I must have sold them for like a couple of grand. And they're going for now, if I go for sales, any sales here? Someone sold a 11 in 2018 for two grand 2558 pounds so they went up a grand since i last bought them so it, they're still quite a decent investment if you have the money to buy these pairs of shoes and just keep them on ice wow my urahara's i wore the hell out of these ura 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 wawa have you pronounced the word they say it? urawa urara air max ones i wore the hell out of my ones right and these guys are selling them for one grand how can you why does it say sell your item for 259 49 but it says buy for that price this makes no sense does it let's view the sales okay someone bought them for 600 um in october just recently okay not too bad so you can get them for a pretty decent price but yeah big up let's move on for this one Tripping on shoes, a handful of apparel pieces, including a matching tracksuit and two tees, uh, adorned with the pattern branding and light side. Okay, I'm not gonna watch the video, it's two minutes, it's too long for that. Uh, da, da, da. it says your pattern is a pat Nike pattern re reunite once again to collaborate with Air Max One, launching October 29th, um, and chapter two of the film series The Wave. The collaboration is a thematic reference to the cultural shift and enduring influence of pattern has had in the great community and industry in this four part film. Four part film we're assuming there's going to be four colorways then so we've already got the monarch we've already got this teal sort of like bluey color and now we're going to have i think maybe the purple that's been featured right at the top there i showed you before so it's going to be four colorways okay interesting um in chapter two we follow a character older sister of abdul a dj producer called carista okay i didn't know she was from holland uh, i guess so i don't know that um as she creates her own sanctuary experiment in collaborating with friends and peers carista united identities learns that music is a universal language and she opens up her meeting expected unexpected people along the way it says since i started making films of photography uh, my work has always been about finding ways to show love to people that look like me pat are a great example of creativity and can manifest into authentic relationships for many young black and brown filmmakers steve mcqueen and his legacy have been somewhat of a north star for us to be able to collaborate i'm proud to be working with nike and pat a black owned community who have always been about supporting interesting black talent in bringing new emerging voices like mali mali nina how you say that ma Mahanelia, Mahanelia, right? to the broader wider public to the exciting collaborations says Steve McQueen Steve McQueen helped to fucking collaborate with this but yeah regardless um, check those guys out 
October 29th, you're most likely not going to get a pair. Try anyway, because it looks absolutely banging. The tracksuit is probably even worth a cop just on the strength. Um, you could still get a pretty decent colorway similar to this to wear with the tracksuit, even if you don't. An all white pair of Air Maxes will go banging with this. You know what I mean? So it's still a vibe, man. And again, four colorways to come out. I guess this is going to be the third that one there that kind of purpley one at the top that they're sort of teasing us right they're just giving us a toe just a tip right no homes right just a tip pause on that one <laughs> they're just poking it in on there and that might be something you'll see very very soon so yeah big up Petter, big up them man soon come soon come in it 